First thing I want to say is don't let porn fool you. That's right. First of all, not every woman squirts or ejaculates during sex. The other thing you need to keep in mind is that when or should she ejaculate or squirt, it's generally not like this, these gushes of water or liquid that you might see in a porn flick. So don't let those two things derail you or make you feel like your level of intimacy with your partner is not what it should be or that they're not satisfied. Squirting ejaculation from a woman's point of view um, is not indicative of the quality of the intimacy experience. And as I said, not every woman is going to ejaculate or squirt. So let me, I just want to get that off, get that off my chest and say that right off the bat. Okay. As I always say, don't believe everything you see. All right. But we're talking about today what the difference is between squirting and female ejaculation. And then I'm also going to tell you a few other myths that you really shouldn't believe about these things. So uh, let's just jump right in. By the way, I'm Dr. Jen. It's good to see you. First of all, you know, I think for a long time, people, when I say people, I mean um, pu public media, like, you know, social media, perhaps even the medical professionals, et cetera, we sort of use the word squirting and female ejaculation almost interchangeably as if they're the same thing. But actually, they're not the same thing. They're not. Now, they both happen before, after, around, at the time of sort of orgasm, okay, um, with sexual orgasm. So that is very similar. Um, but the truth is that they are different. So let me explain the difference. Now, there's a couple of structures I want you to sort of keep in your mind. Now, for an extensive anatomy review of this, I would actually refer you to a number of other doctors who've talked about uh, squirting and female ejaculations. They've got graphics and pictures and stuff. I just, I don't want to focus a lot on the anatomy. I want to just really tell you sort of a, a quick and dirty difference and then move on to the other. But but two things you need to keep in mind. One is the urethra. That is where you pee out of, where you urinate out of, okay? So uh, for men, it's it comes out of the penis. Women, it's one of the holes that we have, okay? And remember, our vagina hole is different than our urination hole. They are different. So keep the urethra, that tube where urine comes out, uh, in mind. And then also keep something else in mind called skeins glands. S K S K E N E apostrophe S skeins glands. They call this like the female prostate. These glands are sort of next to the urethra. Okay. So keep those in mind. So what's the difference? All right, let's start with squirting. What is squirting? Well, squirting is when I'm not going to say a large amount of fluid, but certainly and generally more fluid than with female ejaculation happens. So it's a little bit of a larger amount of fluid that happens when a woman squirts. It typically is sort of a clearish fluid, although it can be the color of urine, a yellowish color, because this fluid tends to contain urine. But that is not all squirting contains. And we went through this phase in society and in medicine and sexual health and whatever. We thought that squirting was just peeing. Like, oh, you're just peeing. Oh, I should have started. I should have lived with that, should I? Yeah, squirting is not just peeing. No, 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 no. So squirting, again, fluid coming from the urethra, okay, that tube where you pee out of, the fluid can be clear, it can be yellow because it's going to contain urine, but it's also going to contain oftentimes some fluid from these skeins glands, these glands that are like the female prostate that, that lie next to the urethra, okay? You also may have some vaginal secretions in there as well because, you know, look, there's a lot of stuff happening and there you go, okay? But a larger amount of fluid tends to be clear um, uh, around orgasm from the urethra. It is not just urine, often has other stuff in it, etc. That is squirting, okay? Not just pee. The other, which is female ejaculate, tends to be different. First of all, the fluid comes from the skeins glands. That is right. And it tends to be sort of a milky, whitish, uh, thicker substance, okay? So it's different from the, the clearer kind of like, you know, thin substance that we were fluid that we were talking about before. So, so thicker, milkier, whiter, et cetera. Um, predominantly, this fluid is made up of secretions from the skeins glands, that female prostate, but yeah, you can actually have a little bit of urine in there. You can also have some vaginal secretions as well, okay? But you see the main differences between the two, coming from different places, different volumes, different uh, uh, consistencies of fluids, and different compositions and relative compositions, all right? Now, you may be saying, okay, that was a little bit more technical than I thought. And I know, right? Which is also what makes me think, like, sometimes, like, knowing this, it kind of makes me wonder why people are so preoccupied with squirting versus female ejaculation. I mean, 
they're different, but they happen around the same act. I don't think it actually really matters. I, I, I really don't. I don't actually think it really matters, to be honest with you, but that is the difference. Now, let's talk about some other things you need to know, okay? Um, da, 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 da. Uh, oh, this is also not the same as incontinence because I've had patients say to me, they're like, you know, I had this clear liquid that kind of came out around the time of orgasm, blah, blah, blah. Was that just urine? So this hopefully is going to answer that question that we talked about. That's sort of touched on a little bit. You know, when it comes to, say, squirting, which tends to be that clearer, more uh, more volume liquid that can be clear, can be maybe yellowish tint, um, it's not just urine, okay? It often tends to have some of that fluid from the female prostate also some vaginal secretions as well. So it's not just urine. Um, and, and so the other thing I would say too is there's a lot of misconceptions and sort of a lot of cultural feelings around orgasm, uh, around women and orgasms, women and sex. I know this from some of the, many of the other sex videos I've done. Um, take a look at some of them if you haven't. I've done videos on, you know, what happens to your vagina if you don't have sex for a long time, what happens to your penis if you don't have sex for a long time. Um, I say this because I think a lot of times with a woman's vagina, people feel like it's going to like shrivel up. It's not, okay? Um, there's also misconceptions about, you know, masturbation and things like this. And, and the the other thing I need to say is that, you know, regardless of whether you squirt or not, or have a female, um, you ejaculate and you're, you consider yourself female, um, it, it has no bearing on your worthiness or your prowess in the sack. Um, it, 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 you, the quality of the intimacy and the um, sexual relations that you have with your partner. It is simply something that some women do and others do not. I've seen articles online saying, you know, it, it, here's how to squirt or learn how to squirt. And okay, I mean, I, I'm not bashing that. Um, but, but this is the thing you're fine. You're fine. Whatever you do, so long as you're comfortable with yourself and you're comfortable with the sexual intimacy that you have with your partner, there is no right and wrong. Okay. What I'm trying to say is let's not have any expectations about what we need to be doing in bed, men and women, or however you define your gender, please do not have expectations about squirting or not. It, first of all, it puts undue pressure on all of us. Second, secondly, it's generally pretty much unrealistic because we know everyone's different. And we know that, uh, you know, squirting, for, as an example, doesn't uh, doesn't determine how, how good the intimacy is for the, the people involved. My point is, give yourself some grace. Now you know the difference between squirting and female ejaculation. I hope it's interesting, and I hope that it will be inform you as you move forward. Take time to explore your body. Explore your body with your partner, but don't put pressure on yourself or your partner. Just be and do who you are and what makes sense for you. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, honor health expert and video creator. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Uh, please subscribe to my other social, uh, my other social videos as well. Guys, love you. All right. Bye.